Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another shower remodeling video. This is going to be a change in footprint. We are tearing down one wall, building up a pony wall, changing the size of the shower from a 32 to 32 inch shower to a 48 by 48 inch shower. So it's time to head to the job site. I'll run those clips now. All right, guys, framing is done. The pony wall, the niche, the board is up. It's time to waterproof, changing the size of the shower from a 32 inch by 32 inch to a 48 inch by 48 inch is a massive increase in size. So let's show you here. Pony wall is up, all framed. It's about 48 inches in height, the same height as the niche sill. So same height as a niche sill. We're gonna cap this off with quartz, cap the niche sill with quartz, and cap the curb with quartz. We have the quartz over here. Off the shelf, floor and decor. It's a light beige with some speckles, and here is our tile. Porcelain, a nice warm beige and brown look. Mini river rock with some glass mosaic behind the niche. So now it's just time to simply waterproof. Pre-cut your band before you start installing. We're just gonna do straight strips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and then we're gonna waterproof the niche as well. So this should take no more than one hour to do. Then tomorrow we come in, install the tray, install the curb, waterproof the seams, the penetrations, outside corners, inside corners, and then we install our pan tile tomorrow as well. That's why we love Schluter. You can waterproof and install in the same day. Just give it about an hour, hour and a half in between for some cure dry time. Have yourself a nice lunch, come back and install the tile. So let's go. And there you have it folks, took about 45 minutes to waterproof the walls, burn the rest of the thin set to fill any voids on this uh, subfloor, but uh, everything is level. We're gonna install the tray right here, 48 by 48, it fits without cutting because we made our custom 48 by 48 inch shower pan here. And building our low profile curb right here as well. Let's install. Alrighty guys, time to install our mini River Rock shower pan. A lot of River Rocks and I want to give my appreciation to Floor & Decor. They offer this off the shelf, these mini River Rocks that do not connect at all. So we connect as many as we can and then we're forced to individually remove them from the sheets. And fill in all of the gaps. Let's get to it. Arts and Crafts Day. Here we go.
All right, guys, tile's going on the walls. Now we're gonna bring it out this far past the curb so that we match the length of this pony wall here. And we got tile coming right up to the back of the niche. So our goal is to finish this back wall and start on the side walls. Out here cutting all of the sills, the cap for the pony wall, the cap for the curb, as well as the niche sill using our quartz here. Quick little trick, half inch foam board. If you have this length to make the cut super simple, and then you use a square to make sure you square it off. Basically, we need to cut off this beveled edge here. Let's go.